YouTube, I'm your friendly neighborhood Edman64, and I'm bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet. In the last episode, we finally left our hometown, but we didn't really make it far because, by God, is there a lot of Pokemon that we can catch on this route. As you can see, we've caught six new Pokemon. Don Duck is obviously the one that's sticking around because he's our starter. We caught Balboa the Palmy. Let's take a look at him. His speed goes down, but his defense goes up. Unfortunately, that's not a pretty decent thing for an electric type, but I can live with it for now, I guess. Uh, we've got Peter Parker, the Tarantula, which is pretty decent all around. Attack goes up, special defense goes down. Not bad. We've got a Hopip, which is all about speed, and its speed is going up at the expense of its physical defense. A uh, special defense, sorry, which is, again, not terrible. We've got Scatterbug, Bugget, the most the most terrible name I've ever given anything. Attack up and physical defense down. Not terrible, but I would have preferred special attack going up. But hey, can't, beggars can't be choosers. And Fletchling, which has attack going up and speed going down, that we've named Robin. Unfortunately, those a lot of these natures kind of suck, to be honest with you. But fortunately. None of these Pokemon are going to be on our team for the super long haul. At least for the time being, they will be, though. Unless I catch Pokemon that I am adding to my team, in which case they can kick rocks. I don't know. Unfortunately, there are some items that we simply cannot get at the time. We can't... Yeah, we can't even get that one because that one's surrounded by water. Yes, there are ways that we can go through water that are not HM related, oddly enough. But we have caught pretty much every Pokemon we can on this early route. So I say we continue on our journey and see what lies ahead of us. Which might be some more... Okay, triggered cutscene, I guess? Hey, Mikey, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon? Okay. Let me see. So far, you've caught... G -g -g yeah! Oh, Jesus. Don't scream. Whoa! Oh, that wasn't you. That was something else. Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could it be some strong Pokemon or something? I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Mikey. Just be careful. There's kinda there's a kinda unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your steps by these cliffs anyway. Alright, let's see. Was it you that made the source of the cry? No, you're an ether. Which raises PP. I appreciate that. And I got a potion. Anything else around here? Maybe some new Pokemon, perhaps, that I have missed? Nope, that is just a pig. Just the pig. More potions, which I do appreciate. And an ether. Go away, pig. All right. Now, you can follow the map in the bottom right-hand corner, and it will usually take you to the objectives you're looking for. Usually. Uh, let's see. I think I hear... Do I hear it? Oh no! It's our friend! The one with the wheel shoved up his butt. He's getting bullied by some hound hours. That's not nice. Why are you bullying him? Bow, bow, wow. That's what Loki sounds like. Oh, and I fall to my death. How beautiful. Oh. Apparently, Rotom is amazing and doesn't want me to die. Aww, look at this poor little guy. This is the earliest we've encountered a legendary Pokemon in any of these games that I have shown you. We're not talking about Sword and Shield where we actually do encounter them in like the first five minutes. Aww, look at this little guy. Look how tired he is. 
Are you okay? The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Does it want my adventure guide? Does it want my Rotom phone? Oh, it wants my sandwich. Alright. I bet you eat my sandwich. My mom's a terrible cook anyway. Come on, eat the sandwich, buddy. I know I've got a stupid looking hat, but I'm sure you like bologna. Um, 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 um. Was that nummy? Was that nummy, friend? Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got a wheel for a body, too. That is cute. It's not just a wheel shoved up his butt. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, there's that cave Nimona told us to not go in. But, there he goes. Oh, he wants a score to settle with those hound hours, I bet. And okay, what is going on here? He's about to burst into flames. Oh my god, he grew flower butts. Oh, he wants to he wants revenge. Oh my god. Look at this guy. He wants re I have seen way too much on my first day. Oh, he's going in that cave to investigate. Well, this has been a weird first day of my existence as a Pokemon trainer. Want me to proceed? I think he does. Anything else cool on this beach? Not really. Okay, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Yeah, you're what? Yeah, you were expecting. You're gonna guard the way for me to come in? Okay, cool. This is the Inlet Grotto. There are some pretty dangerous Pokemon in here. Not like dangerous as in like they'll definitely destroy us, but dangerous as in they're not terrible to start off the game with and they can actually be pretty helpful to you, all things considered. Oi! Mikey! Oh my god, look how far up she is. There you are, Mikey. You okay? You're not hurt, right? Do I do I'm managing so she comes down and gives me kisses? Or do I say I'm fine? Uh, I'll keep her in the friend zone. I'm fine. Thank goodness. I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb up out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. You know, an escape rope, a hand, that's not a Pokemon move. You, you could help at any other point, though. Whatever. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? I hope it does. Oh, my God. He's, he's just after Houndowers. You know what? I don't blame him. Houndowers can be bullies. Ooh, a Houndoom. That's not good. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Do you mind? Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. What are you supposed to be, Mr. M I almost said you're a mongoose, but that's not your name. Young Goose is your name. Young Goose is the other normal, early nor game normal type Pokemon that you can encounter at this point in the game. I wouldn't say it's supremely better than uh what's it call it than Lechonk but 
for the, anyone who's looking specifically for something that would fit alongside a Rattata or a Zigzagoon, Young Goose would be the one I would say you're probably better off with. And Robin levels up, which is good, because she was the lowest leveled thing on our team. Young Goose. Its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day searching for fresh food. Here, let's give you a name. You look very angry. I'm going to name you after the angriest person I know. The angriest girl I know, at least. She's going to be Julia. We're going to send you to the box. Because I have no need for you. At least at the moment. I might change my mind later. I do want to collect whatever items I can get my hands on. And I would like to catch one of those hound hours, if this, assuming this guy doesn't absolutely murk the rest of them. He looks very angry. Is that Diglett? Hi, Diglett. As you would expect, this is Diglett, the ground type Pokemon. Low HP, high speed, and pretty decent attack, all things considered. I wouldn't call it the best Pokemon you can get, but considering this game, for some strange reason, does not like ground types early on, it's probably the best you're going to get until we get to the desert area, which, again, I don't mind, because Diglett is a good Pokemon, all things considered. And I'm going to keep this on my team, actually, for a little bit. Because, once again, I do have a ground type in mind, but I'm going to hold off on raising it. Until we can get some different Pokemon on our team. It lives about one yard underground, where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Look at him. Look at how jolly he is. We're going we're gonna to name you Doug. We're going to name you Doug. I was hiding under your porch because I love you. And you're going to add, be added to my team. And uh, Peter Parker, you can go back. I know I said, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I don't use that many Pokemon from like Gens 1 and 4, but early on, you kind of don't have a much of a choice. Because they don't really give you that many like supremely good options for Pokemon early on. I want to, okay, I want to, I'm trying to grab an item, but oh, the Hound Hours are back. Oh my god, there's a whole pack of them. Grr, grr, grr. Can I catch one of them? Nope, they're all going to run away. You did good, buddy. I will be with you momentarily. I want to see what this shiny is. Hey, heads up. Some pretty rough and ha angry hound... Oh, I can't read that, Nimona. Thank you for speaking too quickly. <sighs> How many of them are there? There's like a thousand of them. Are there any hound hours around this corner? Nope. Trying to... Okay, fine. I guess I can't go that way. Grumpy McGrumperson will not let me go that way. Come on, Grumpy. I'll follow you. He is the angriest angry... That, oh my god, he's just blasting things. Oh, okay. You just wanted to take a moment to enjoy that. It straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful is it? Uh, I would imagine very powerful because look at this. Mikey, look out. Something's coming. What's coming? Behind you. It's behind you. Oh, it's a Houndoom. It's Loki. I am Loki of Asgard. And I am burdened with glorious purpose. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's level 40. This thing is gonna murk me. And apparently it got bored of me. Or something's gonna happen. Holy shit. Of course, the Hound Hours are all coming to fight now. 
Oh, them I can take on. I don't mind that. Oh my god, there's like a thousand of them. I can catch him. Oh no, he's just gonna Hercules his way through me. He's gonna carry me away. We got out of there, but I wanted to catch them hound hours. Oh, well. Not the end of the world, I suppose. We can catch them later. Way to go. For a sec, I thought you were both goners. He wants to go beat up the lighthouse now. Okay. Nope. He's sleepy. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power? What is this Pokemon anyway? It looks kind of like a Cyclozar. But I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. You can't tell either, huh, Mikey? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. We didn't do anything, though. Yeah, see? What, you didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh, good. Looks like it's perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Oh my god, she wants my number. She wants my number. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. TM32 Swift! Which kind of replaces Return in this game. In fact, I don't even think Return is in this game. You put TM032 in your bag's TM pocket. Star-shaped rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. The attack never misses. Think before you use it, though. TMs can only be used once. So yes, we've gone from... Having TMs that are one use to being permanent use to being not only usable once again. But no HMs this time. You've both been through enough for one minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the top let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Are you coming with us, buddy? I'm gonna name you Jeff. Let's go, Jeff. Okay, so can we slide down here? Yes. Oh, no, I could just jump down. Okay. Oh, there's someone outside waiting at the lighthouse. Let's go introduce ourselves. Maybe he'll be a new friend. Or she. Oh, why that little... What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Oh, well, how rude. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here? And what is this format it's in? I met it at the bottom of the cliff. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Mikey fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda 
slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. Unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Coridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around. But given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? Then how about then how about I test your worthiness? Oh, okay, sure. I kick you in the nads. Heh. <laughs> well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Alright, here's rival number two! Pokemon Trainer Arvin! He has a Squavit! Squavit is... well... It's a derp. Another normal game, po normal type Pokemon that you get early in the game. It's... Unique? Not a Pokemon I would use, personally. In fact, in Sword and Shield, I use the Zigzagoon that you got in the game. The Galar, the variant that comes from Galar, but you do you. If you like Squavit, you can use it. It's a bear, it's a chonky chonk, especially when it fully evolves. And we beat him. Good job, us. Good job, Duck. Ugh, seems you know a thing or two about battle. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Wow, Mikey, that was awesome. I guess I was never going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. You obtained Coridon's Pokeball. You put Coridon's Pokeball in your bag's key items pocket. Coridon's Pokeball, a Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Coridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way. But you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. Jesus! Look, Nimona, I know you're a bit of a meme and things, but seriously, girl. Chill out. But, oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Hate to burst your bubble, Nimona, but we've reached my uh, time limit here, so we're gonna have to do that next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Nman64. Join me next time when we proceed up the lighthouse and see just how far away this school of ours is. Because Lord knows, we're a few episodes in and we still have not even seen the school yet. Until we meet again, my lovelies, sayonara. <laughs>